there was a risk I would lose this. personalities uh, get together it's uh, well you never know what's going to happen but uh, I think I quite like these challenges because then at the concert um, you can really get something unexpected happened part of our job is to share the energy that we have because this is the most precious thing is the energy that we give and we, we send to audience we're all humans and we all have emotions and what we play about on stage it's, it's about life. It's a Balkan folk group. Our influences are extremely diverse and most of the musicians in the group are extremely skilled jazz musicians. Um, but there's some classical influence in there, there's American old time music, there's Russian gypsy music and all of us basically seem to approach music with a similar attitude, with an open mind and an open heart. So one of the great things about being in a band like you, Rodney, is you go to very interesting places and you meet really cool people. You meet these people who just kind of really fit with the vibe of the band and you want to take them home with you forever. <laughs> tonight is arranged to feature three special guests um, and then a selection of pieces from our current repertoire. Um, so there are the pieces for Gwendolyn, there are also some pieces to feature Miklos Lukács on the cymbal, and then a new piece which is being premiered, world premiered tonight, um, which is an arrangement by our violinist Kora Venuslani of a Ukrainian traditional piece called Drevo which will feature the singer Alyssa Zorovetska. The musicians in the ensemble, um, some are from Ireland, some from the UK, um, one member from Italy, one member from Russia, uh, one half German, and tonight one Ukrainian, um, one half Swiss, half Hungarian, one Hungarian, and one Martian. Thank you. 
instrument of piano part, yes, and I arrange it for or string orchestra or string quartet or something like that. Of course, I follow rules, but I always have to add something from myself. It has to be my arrangement, so some point has to be from me. This is the main thing for me. I just cannot do, you know, like you you just take piano part and uh -huh, this is for first violin, second, uh -huh, it goes, it goes, it works, it works, it, no. I have to add something especially for me. And now when I uh, started to teach vibraphone percussion instrument, I understood that it's completely different uh, point of view. I do it because I do, and person asks me, Andre, uh, why you use pedal here like that? Because it's right. No, why? I didn't think about it. I just do it because it's right. And I try to think with from another side. interesting world as a clarinetist is to, to have the instrument between something and nothing. It means that um, the world which silent is a very very strong part is the clarinet world I think. Because we can really uh, begin a, a note from nothing and go into nothing. You know and in between that's the most interesting thing as a clarinet player I think. And I like it very much. I like very much um, colorful programs also um, the mix between styles that we have very old styles together with, with new contemporary music and wonderful. Mm -hmm. 